Okay, let's do a quick walkthrough of Windows Server Manager. Uh, Server Manager automatically comes up, and you'll see it here, it automatically comes up whenever server loads, and you can turn that behavior off. Uh, most of the time we leave it on. <clears throat> so, over here we have a list of um, groups of servers. So we have the dashboard, which is our overview of everything. We have the local server, which is basically the configure this local server screen from here. Uh, we can overview or you look at all of our servers or here we're going to have servers with specific roles So all of our file and storage services and then as we add other roles to our network like Active Directory domain services um, or directory services um, DNS DHCP all of those roles will show up down here <clears throat> So from the dashboard screen, we can see our roles and servers. So we have one role in our network, file and storage services, and that currently exists on one server. On our local server, we see manageability, events, services, performance, and best practices, analyzer results. Look at that in a few minutes. This red bar indicates that we've got a problem. We have four services that aren't started. So if I click on that, that will show me those four services that are set to automatic start that are stopped. Now something's not set to automatic start, it's not going to show up as a warning. Um, in this case, I can start my servers directly from here if I want. So right click and start services. Or I actually don't even have to worry about it. I can, you know, just leave them alone because they are automatic start or automatic delayed start. Sooner or later they'll come up. And hit OK. Now you see we're down to one. And then this one right here is a summary of all of our servers that are managed. So Server Manager is designed to handle multiple servers simultaneously. It's not designed to work with just one. All right, over here we have our Manage, which allows us to add roles and features, remove roles and features, add servers, create server groups. And here are all of our administrative tools. Now if I look at, let's click on our local server here. This gives us the properties of the server, and if I have multiple servers, by the way, I'm going to see different servers that I can look at. Um, but this will give me the properties of the server that I've selected, any key events, things that it thinks may be key events. Let me scroll down a little bit farther here. All of my services, and then I can run a best practices analyzer, and this runs against Microsoft standards best practices. And I can view that for every one of my servers that are managed. Um, all right, so that's a quick overview of Server Manager, and it's a real quick overview because we're going to use Server Manager for the vast majority of our administrative tasks. Some things are, some administrative tasks are going to be done through tools that are linked in over here. Some of them will actually be done here, like our file and storage services, which allows us to manage file and storage services direct from Server Manager. But we'll spend a lot of time here. And this is one of those things. Normally when an operating system has something that comes up automatically, I normally shut it off. This is one of those things that I leave up because it is an incredibly useful tool and we will find ourselves using it all the time.